Easy now, immersive here, bring you another crafting guide. Today, we're gonna to be crafting cabling that will make the terrain on your wargaming boards look both dystopian and bleak. What's more, this method really packs a punch visually whilst being achieved cheaply and with very little effort. From the grim, dark and harsh industry of the Sector Mechanicus Forge worlds, to the unembellished and unadorned bleak savagery of the sumps, found deep within the dismal lower levels of the Imperium's hive cities, raw, unrestrained, cabling that channels the violent life source of Prometheum, bends, winds, and twists disturbingly through walkways, across ash plains, and through her blocks. In this video, I'm gonna show you where to obtain the materials for crafting grim, dark, dystopian cabling. Moreover, I will show you how easy it is to apply it to your existing terrain for both the visual interest or to act as line of sight blocking terrain. Let's say you're playing a game such as Necromunda or Kill Team where you have lots of levels and you want to be able to climb from one to another. You're gonna be able to create cabling that's gonna allow you to do that, which gives it just a bit more interest than your standard ladders or even just barriers for cover. Due to its versatility, you're gonna to wanna to watch this guide to the end. What you'll need is a few different variations of plastic cabling conduit diameters. So this one here is the smallest one that I have, which is a seven millimeter external diameter. This one that I have loads of is a 13 millimeter external diameter. And lastly, this one, which I'm glad I don't have quite as much of, is the 25 millimeter outer diameter. That's the largest one that I'm gonna be using in this project today. Some old scraps of electric bass guitar strings at different gauges. You can pick these up from your local music store, or if that isn't an option for you, there are low cost packs of electric bass guitar strings available. I will link to my Amazon affiliate page in the description down below for suitably cheap strings to purchase along with the cabling conduits I'm using in this video. A nicely thick and viscous cyanoacrylite, best known as superglue, with an activator spray. Some dressmaker pins or similar. And lastly, some malleable modeling or solder wire. Under what way trunking then? So as you can see from this photo, I'm using the 13 millimeter medium diameter cabling. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the standard set to Mechanicus boardwalks or platforms, whatever you want to call them. Here's me just cutting that out. And you want to mark exactly where you're going to be putting the platforms to be able to support these and make sure that when you're lining up the cabling that you're not going to put the cabling across anywhere where you want to have those supports or any other areas which are going to be used for connecting or hanging down. So in here, you can see that I measured out roughly the length of the cable and then cut that to size. And now I'm just using some super glue with the activator to secure that into place. Under walkway hanging cables. So using the same walkways from the set to Mechanicus platforms, we've got some ready-made holes underneath. Now taking the bass guitar strings, we can just cut those to any size that we want and just very simply place them in the holes and then glue them in place. So secure them in place with some super glue. You can overlap these and have lots of different lengths of the particular cables. So I'll just show you an image of that. So here we go. So we've got an image here where we've got lots of different lengths. You can bend and sculpt these into place as well to get some interesting shapes. 
the over walkway exhaust pipes. So going back to our Set Mechanicus sprue, this is the exhaust that we want to be using. So you can see we've got the nice fan. So we can cut this out and this just clips onto one of the edges of the platforms. Now the 25 millimeter diameter outer cabling fits absolutely perfectly with this size of vent. You just glue that into place and that's going to work out perfect for you. And the upon walkway extruding cables. So once we've got a nice setup, you can see here this, this one's been primed in a Zenital priming. And I'm just pointing out here that there's a extruding cable. Again, this is using the base guitar strings. So I have one here, which has been secured into place coming out of the platform. And another one here. So what I tried to do with these is actually line it up with the detailing that's on the platforms already. Where you see detailing within the platform plastic that has the same ribbed pattern as the cables that you get on the guitar strings, that's where you want to try and line these up and get them so they, they look natural as if they're actually coming out of the floor. So the way to do that is you just take a piece of your guitar string and you just bend it into position. So they're, they're quite tough to bend, but you, you put a bit of pressure on them, you'll be able to get them into place. And then you just place it first in a sort of a dry fit of where you want it. So that's looking quite reasonable. And then you would secure it in place with your super glue. Top of platform waste chutes. So here is just a, an example where I've dry fitted one of the medium cables coming from the top platform down to the bottom. And here's another example of where I've used it sort of coming out of some kind of port on the top of a building and then looping around. The ground level conduits is where we can get really creative. So you can see in this piece I'm using all three different types plus the, the guitar strings in order to create something which is looking quite organic and quite unique. So you're probably wondering what I've been using the pins for. Well here I've got some plastic card and the dressmaker pins. So we're going to be using the dressmaker pins once I've cut out some of these little grooves at the end of the larger pipe in order to put the medium ones in. So take your dressmaker pins and you just push it through the sides of the conduit cable through into the plastic card and then you probably want to try and secure it on the underside as well by bending up the um, the end of the pin or put a little bit of glue or something on there so there we have covered a number of different ways that you can use those conduit cables and electric based guitar strings to great effect I mentioned in the list of needed items some malleable wire such as the craft or soldering wire. These have a smooth finish so can be used to complement the guitar strings with a variant in texture. They may also be utilised when using a suitably small gauge to act as faux fastening cables for even greater realism. If you like this crafting guide video and you'd like to see more like it, please go ahead and do all the things. You know what I mean, like, subscribe, comment and hit the notification bell. Lastly, I've posted affiliate links in the description to the conduit cables and electric bass guitar strings for you to grab your own. There are also links to my other affiliate sites too. It will allow you to purchase the things for your hobby that you want at no additional cost to you. Sometimes, in fact, you'll get a discounted rate. I get a small referral fee, making it win-win all round. Our time for now has sadly come to an end. I shall see you in the next episode. Laters.